So as most of you probably know, Minecraft 1.20 just came out, and with it, a very cool Minecraft block was added to the game. The calibrated squawk sensor looks just like this. Using this new redstone component, we can pick which sounds it hears by putting a redstone signal through the side with a crystal, just like this. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, stick it there. This doesn't hear anything. Can't pick up any vibration other than eating food. So, level of power that goes into the squawk changer changes what noise it hears. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a door that opens when you fly an elytra through it. And this is what it looks like. So you're flying. It opens up right for you to go in. So, kind of depending on how fast you're going and all that. It's like, if you go too slow, sometimes you can miss it. But you guys can kind of tinker with that based on how you guys are going to be entering. And then, like... The best way to do it is to do from kind of far away, but not to do it super fast. But uh, I'll show you guys how to tinker with it very well. So I'm kind of going a little too fast, I guess. So let's check out the items we're going to need. To build this, you're going to be needing a lot of whatever block you pick. Uh, I just have 64, which is probably need more than that. Four sticky pistons, two redstone torches, four redstone repeaters, two calibrated squawk sensors, two redstone blocks, and s about 64 redstone dust. Let's throw that all into our inventory and begin building. So, first things first, we're going to actually work on the door part. So, I'm just going to place two sticky pistons on top of each other and two blocks, and then go two blocks away. Place two blocks and two pistons, just like that. Pretty simple. Just your average door. Then we're going to place a block right there and right there. And then the same thing on the other side. Nice and easy. And then a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. Bam. So the next thing we're going to want to do is just place a little bit of redstone coming out of each of these. And just kind of give this thing a nice cover for now. Pretty simple. Just throw it on, and then we will do this, this, and this. Just really cover it in whatever way you like. And just those redstones can just be sticking right out the back. I don't know what I did wrong here. Uh, I built up around the redstone. There you go. So, say that's lit. And those blocks disappear. So, next thing we're going to want to do is is on whatever side you would like to fly in from, you're going to want to go 13 blocks away from this block. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And dig it out just like that. You're going to want to put two redstone in and then dig out both of these and put that to where the squawk sensor is pointing that way and then flip this around to where the squawk sensor is pointing that way then we're going to want to mine this in till we are about three blocks away i'm pretty sure so yeah just keep on mining this in and yeah as i said so three blocks away so now right in front of these we're going to put two redstone repeaters and Redstone going all the way up to there. And now this is where we're going to kind of use our calibrated squawk sensors. So we're going to dig the block behind it. And then we're going to start digging this way. 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Break that block. Place uh, a redstone block. And then pull redstone all the way over to that. And now... That only triggers when there's a light you're flying, nothing else. See that? Nice and easy. So now, on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Redstone block. And then, oh, there's a sheep in the way. Okay, and fill that in with redstone. Not really sure. Why do it on opposite sides, to be honest? But you don't have to if you don't want to. Next, we are going to be mining a little path over to where these need to connect up. So about three, yeah, three walks away, we're going to place two repeaters and then connect them up with redstone. And this part's pretty simple. All we want to do is connect the redstone up right there. 
All right, guys. So I just noticed I made a mistake. We gotta do these out uh, one block more, so these can actually go right into that. So, stupid sheep, get out of the way. Just it should look just like this, and then we'll grab some dirt real quick. Fill this all up just like that, and then the same thing on the other side. So one, two, one, two, one, and then redstone, redstone, redstone. Break, break, break. Just like that, and fill it in with dirt. So now, the door should be pretty functional, I believe. So you guys can kind of set up how the timings work with uh, adding time to your repeaters, uh, bringing these farther away or closer, uh, depending on how you fly in and all that, but it definitely works. This. Okay, so every time I somehow hit it, so... If you guys want to, so based on how you guys want to set it up, these can go back one. It just depends on how fast you're really flying in, because, I mean, then if you do it like that, you're too slow, and just all this different stuff. You just really have to get your timings correct. You can also do, like, eight blocks more back. You can set up this same thing again, and connect it up, really whatever you want to get it to work. But another way you can do this is just by, since it doesn't really, since I do it too fast, you can just fly in just like this, and then land right here, and then walk in. Well, if you don't mess up, the trick is like this, kind of. Oh, that's going to be perfect, yep. So it really just depends on where you fly in from. You can just, you can also just fly in right there, and then walk in. It really just depends, but uh, then you very simply just cover it up and that's pretty much your redstone uh elytra door so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one